Hallelujah. We're in Luke's gospel tonight. We're in Luke's gospel chapter number two. Luke chapter number two, and we're going to commence our reading tonight. Commence our reading at verse number eight. Amen. Verse number eight, brothers and sisters, down to verse number 20. Luke's gospel, chapter number two. Amen. Verse number eight. And this is what it says. Now there was in the same country shepherds living out in the field, keeping watch over their flock by night. And behold, an angel of the Lord stood before them and the glory of the Lord shone around them and they were greatly afraid. Hallelujah. Mark that in your Bibles. The Bible says, and behold, an angel of the Lord stood before them and the glory of the Lord shone around them and they were greatly, they were greatly afraid. Verse 10 says, the angel said unto them, do not be afraid for behold, I bring you good tidings of great joy, which will be to all people for there is born to you this day in the city of David, a savior who is Christ the Lord. And this will be the sign to you. You will find a babe wrapped in swaddling clothes, lying in a manger. And suddenly there were with the angel a multitude of heavenly hosts praising God, saying, Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace, goodwill toward men. So it was, when the angels had gone away from them into heaven, that the shepherds said one to another, Let us now go to Bethlehem and see this thing that has come to pass which the Lord has made known to us. And they came with haste and found Mary and Joseph and the babe lying in the manger. Now, when they had seen him, they made widely known the saying which was told to them concerning the child. And all those who heard it marveled at those things which were told them by the shepherds. But Mary kept all these things and pondered them in her heart. Then the shepherds returned, glorifying and praising God for all things they had heard and seen as it was told to them. Verse number 17, I want to read it in your hearing, and this is what verse number 17 says. Now when they had seen him, they made it widely known the saying which was told concerning which was told concerning the child. Tonight, I want to talk about simply, I'm going to take this, go tell it. So what I'm going to talk about tonight, go tell it. Hallelujah. The Bible says, and when they had seen it, they made it widely known. Go tell it. Hallelujah. Now hear me tonight, brothers and sisters. Amen. Because Luke's gospel, amen, differs from the story of the gospel, difference from the story that we find in the gospel according to Matthew, where the Magi or where the wise men followed a star to Bethlehem to find the Savior in a manger. Hallelujah. These two accounts, amen, that they differ. Luke's version, hallelujah, hear me on tonight, because Luke's version, brothers and sisters, describes shepherds, amen, responding, amen, to a sign, amen, that a Savior has been born. Hear me on tonight. Matthew's gospel, brothers and sisters, hear me on tonight, the magi or the wise men, amen, hallelujah, they followed a star. But in Luke's gospel, brothers and sisters, Luke describes shepherds, hear me tonight, Luke describes shepherds, not that's following a star, hallelujah, but responding, they're responding, amen, to a sign that a savior a man has been born. Hallelujah. And I want you to notice this on tonight, brothers and sisters. Hear me. That it does not matter, brothers and sisters, if you're following a man a star or if you're responding a man to a sign. Hallelujah. You're going to end up, amen. Hallelujah. You're still going to end up praising God. Hallelujah. Whether you're following the light, whether you're following a star, or whether you're responding to a sign, brothers and sisters, it does not matter because the star, amen, that you're following, or the, 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 the sign that you're responding to, the purpose of both, amen, is that you might wind up, amen, in a position or in a place that you're worshiping, amen, that you're worshiping God. I need to place a peg right there. 
Amen. Hallelujah. Because Christmas is not Christmas. Amen. If you don't find yourself waking up, amen, worshiping God. Hallelujah. It is not. Amen. Hear me today. Let me be crystal clear. Hallelujah. It is not Christmas if you do not find yourself, amen, worshiping worshiping God. Hallelujah. The Bible says, amen, that the wise men hear me. Hallelujah. The Bible says that wise men follow the delight. Hear me on today. But shepherds, amen, hallelujah, they respond, brothers and sisters, to a sign. Hallelujah. The wise men, they followed, amen, what a man they saw. Hallelujah. But the shepherds, amen, they responded, amen, to what they heard. Now, isn't that just like God, brothers and sisters? Hallelujah. I love that about God. What do you love, Pastor? I love that God knows how to meet us. Amen. God knows how to meet us, amen, at our point, amen, of need. I love that. Hear me tonight. I really love that. Amen. About God, because none of us, amen. Listen, all of us, we learned, amen, different ways. Those wise men, amen, all that they needed was a light to follow. Hallelujah. But those shepherds, hallelujah, they needed a sign, brothers and sisters. They needed a sign to respond to. And what blesses my soul is that the wise men, once they saw the light, they followed it. Hallelujah. And the shepherds, amen, how once they got a sign, they responded. Hallelujah. The Bible says not only does God, amen, I love the fact that God knows, amen, where I'm at. Hallelujah. He knows where you at. Amen. God knows how the meters at our point of need, but the Bible goes further than that, brothers and sisters. The Bible says that the God of the Bible, he knows, amen, the hairs, amen, he knows the number of hairs on your head, and he calls them by name. Now, you're talking about intimate. That's intimate. See, hallelujah. Hear me on tonight. I don't know about you, but I'm shouting as I study, amen, the nativity scene. Hallelujah. What a mighty God, brothers and sisters. Hallelujah. What a mighty God we serve. Now, hear me. Hear me on tonight, because as we study Luke's account, hallelujah, of the shepherds, it's important for you to understand tonight, and it's important, amen, for me, amen, to understand tonight that the shepherds, brothers and sisters, hear me, shepherds were despised, amen, in their day, hear me, they were a despised group of people, the shepherds, hear me, they were not, amen, shepherds were not wealthy, amen, in Jesus' day, nor were shepherds, amen, educated people, hallelujah, hear me, so they were not considered an authority, Amen. Outside, amen, of keeping sheep. Hallelujah. No one, amen, hallelujah, hear me. Outside of keeping sheep, brothers and sisters, the shepherds carried no authority, amen, at all. But what I love about God, hear me, although the shepherd in their day, amen, hallelujah, they weren't, amen, a respected group of people. I love it, brothers and sisters, how God chose, amen, to trust shepherds, amen, with the good news, hallelujah, that Jesus Christ, amen, had, amen, that Jesus Christ had been born. Hallelujah. The songwriter says it like this. I'm just a nobody trying to tell everybody about somebody, amen, that can save anybody. And if you want to be used by God, hallelujah, you got to bring yourself to the point to understand that you just a nobody. Hallelujah. You just, a, I'm just a nobody, the songwriter says, trying to tell everybody about somebody who can save a man, anybody. Hallelujah. And I learned a long time ago that the God of the Bible, hear me, brothers and sisters, he does not call people that are qualified. But the God of the Bible, he does qualify people that he called these shepherds, brothers and sisters. God chose shepherds to reveal them to them, amen, hallelujah, that Jesus had entered, that Jesus had entered the earth realm, hallelujah, hear me on tonight, brothers and sisters, amen, the angel 
amen, hallelujah, that God sent, hallelujah, with the message, hallelujah. He comes, amen, to shepherds and he announces the good news, hallelujah. He announced the good news, hallelujah, that the Son of God had been born, to amen, as the Savior of the world, hallelujah, hallelujah. He announces to shepherds that God of creation, right over in Bethlehem, he done wrapped himself in flesh, hallelujah, and became one of us, hallelujah. What is God saying to you on tonight? What is God saying on to me on tonight? What God is saying to us on a man tonight, the December, a man, hallelujah, the 23rd, 2021, what God is saying to you and me, that it's time to go tell it. Just like it was for the shepherds, amen. God is saying it's time to go tell it. If you want to make Jesus happy on his birthday, if I want to make, make Jesus happy on his birthday, listen, if we want to put a smile on Jesus' face come Saturday morning, Hallelujah. Make up your minds, brothers and sisters, just to go tell it. He ain't asking much. Hallelujah. For his birthday, he wants you to go tell it. Hallelujah. Hear me on today because our first picture, as we read amen the scriptures, hallelujah, as we read Matthew's account, and as we read, brothers and sisters, as we read Luke's account, amen, of the birth, amen, of the only begotten Son of God. The first picture of Jesus, amen, as a baby, hallelujah, is in a manger, hallelujah, and that first picture, amen, that the Bible gives us is Jesus, of Jesus, uh, 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 of Jesus' birth, being born, amen, there in Bethlehem, hallelujah, where there was no room, amen, in the end, hallelujah, where he, amen, hallelujah, was in a barn, amen, hallelujah, uh, amongst, amongst, amen, the animals, amen, that he himself, amen, had created, hallelujah, that first picture, amen, of Christmas, it's a beautiful picture, brothers and sisters, it's a beautiful, amen, Christmas scene, hallelujah, and that that, that that picture of the first Christmas, amen, it has blessed us down throughout the years, but hear me, brothers and sisters, amen, in 2021, we can't leave Jesus as a helpless baby, amen, in that manger, in that stable, hallelujah, we cannot leave him there on Christmas morning, because he grew up, hallelujah, hear me on tonight, he grew up, he lived an amazing life, he performed miracles, hallelujah, we know he healed the sick. We know, amen, he raised the dead. But after all of those miracles, we also know, amen, that Jesus was crucified. Hallelujah. Nailed to an old rugged cross. But we also know, hallelujah, he was put in a borrowed tomb, but he didn't stay that long. And he did not stay in that tomb long at all. But the Bible lets us know, amen, that Jesus rose, amen, on the third day. Hallelujah. So on Christmas, we celebrate that, plus the fact that he's coming back. Amen. He's coming back again. Don't you get so happy, amen, on Saturday where you forget the reason for the season. Hallelujah. And the reason is Jesus. He was born. He was died. He raised. He ascended. This is what, amen, hallelujah, we can get in trouble if we forget, amen, that he's coming back again. Don't you get, amen, so caught up in that gumbo Saturday because the times are set. Jesus can come back at any moment. He can come back right now. Everything's in place. Hallelujah. He can come back, amen, right now. You know, I was talking to somebody today, amen, and last night as I was meditating on this and that thought came to me, that Jesus can come back at any day was one thing that puzzled me for a minute. I said, well, the Bible says that all eyes going to see him. Amen. When he come back, that's around the world. All eyes going to see him at the same time. And I began to ponder that. And in my spirit, I heard cable television. Yes, everything's in place. Holly, Jesus going to bust the sky and CNN, Fox News. Amen. They going to have it. Amen. On cable. And all eyes going to see it, but it's going to be too late. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Somebody shout glory tonight. I feel Jesus. Somebody, amen, shout hallelujah tonight. Yeah, amen. The prophets, amen, when they were writing that, amen, hallelujah, 
They did not know about cable TV, but they did know that the Holy Ghost was saying, right, that all eyes going to see it together. And brothers and sisters, I want you to know, amen, Jake Tapper, I want you to know, all of those brothers are shepherd on fire. They all going to see it, brothers and sisters, at the same time, because we serve a wonderful Savior. We serve a blessed Redeemer. And everything that God has said, brothers and sisters, is the truth. Hallelujah. There's no shallow or turning in him, brothers and sisters. Hallelujah. I say it, don't get so caught up in the festivities that God himself didn't attach to this day, that the world attached to this day. Don't you get so caught up in it and you miss, amen, huh, that Jesus is coming back. Hallelujah. Don't you get so caught up in the fact that it's his birthday. Hallelujah. Don't you get so caught up, amen, in all of the festivities that we forget, amen, that it's his, amen, that is certainly his birthday. Let's look at the text, brothers and sisters. Hallelujah. Oh, that was introduction. Starting at verse number eight, this is what the Bible says. The Bible says, amen, verse number eight, now there were shepherds in the same now there were in the same country shepherds living in the field, keeping watch over their flock by night. And behold, an angel of the Lord stood before them. The glory of the Lord shone around them, and they were greatly, they were greatly afraid. Then the angel said unto them, Do not be afraid, for behold, I bring you good tidings of great joy. Watch this now which will be to all, amen, which will be to all people. Well, I read that, amen. That's the announcement. That, that right there, those three verses, eight, verse 8 to number 10, watch, that's the angelic, brothers and sisters. That is the angelic, amen, announcement. Hear me on tonight. God did not reveal, once again, God did not reveal the birth of his son to rich people, God did not reveal, amen, the birth of his son to powerful people, but instead God purposefully, amen, made known the arrival of his only begotten son to lowly shepherds. God, to mighty, hallelujah. He purposely, amen, hallelujah, he didn't go to the kings, he didn't go to the priests, amen, God went purposely, amen, hallelujah, God went, amen, hallelujah, God went to shepherds. The Bible says it like this. Man looks on the outside, God looks at the heart. God did not look at titles. God looked at the heart of those lowly men and God revealed, amen, the precious truth. Hallelujah unto them, amen, hallelujah, that God, brothers and sisters, that night had become a man to man. Hallelujah, it was the apostle Paul. Hear me, because the Apostle Paul picks up on that theme. And Paul says it like this, amen, in 1 Corinthians. He says, now, consider your calling, brethren. He says, now, not many wise, hallelujah, according to the flesh is God called, hallelujah. He says, amen, not many, not many powerful, amen, has God called. He says, not many of noble birth. He says, but God has chosen. Amen. Hallelujah. The foolish things of the world. Amen. God has chosen the foolish things of the world, brothers and sisters, to confound a man of the wise. Now, that's a good place to shout. That's a good place, brothers and sisters, to blow up the chat. Because what Paul is saying to you on tonight and what Paul is saying to me on tonight, that God chooses to use a man people like me and you. Hallelujah. God chooses to go around people that are mighty, people that are rich, people that are noble. And what that means is that you and I, brothers and sisters, we qualify. Hallelujah. We qualify to be used, amen, by the Lord. Amen. Hear me on tonight. That's good news. Hear me. That is good news. God has chosen, amen, the foolish things of the world, hallelujah, to confound the lies. And when I look back over my life, and when I think things over, amen, I can shout amen on this verse, hallelujah. He chose the foolish things, brothers and sisters, hallelujah. I can testify to that fact, 
Hallelujah. And what God is saying to you and what God is saying to me on tonight, brothers and sisters, that it's time for you to get up. It's time for me to get up. It's time for you to get busy. It's time for me to get busy. It's time for you to get going. And it's time for me to get going. It's time to tell somebody that the Savior, a man, is born. Notice, notice that I did not say it's time to tell somebody that Jesus was born. I say it's time to tell somebody that the Savior, a man, is born. Hallelujah. Hear me. Everybody know, brothers and sisters, that Jesus was born. Hallelujah. And although they know that Jesus was born, they do not know why a man he was born. Hallelujah. So go tell it. Hallelujah. Somebody say, tell it well. Go tell it on the mountains, <laughs> over the hills, amen, and everywhere that God sent a man, his only begotten son into the world, a man to save each and every human being that has been born in the earth realm. God sent his son, a man to save, a man, their soul from going. To keep their souls, brothers and sisters, from going to hell. Hear me on tonight, my brother. Listen, listen, listen to me tonight. Amen, my sister. Amen. Luke, hear me tonight. Luke describes the presence of of this angel in three different accounts. Listen and look what, 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 what Luke says, amen, in verse number five. And I mean in verse number nine. Luke says, first of all, the angel of the Lord, amen, it came upon them. Hallelujah. Then he says, amen, the glory of the Lord, amen, shone, amen, around them. And then it says, now lastly, that these angels, uh, that these shepherds, they were greatly, amen, they were greatly, amen, of phrase. Over in Isaiah's got in Isaiah, amen, writing, hallelujah, in the Old Testament. Isaiah said it like this, amen. He says the same thing, but in a different way. Isaiah says it like this, in Isaiah chapter number nine, verse number two, the prophet says it like this. The people who have walked in darkness, they have seen a great light. Those who dwelt in the shadow of death upon them, watch this now, light has shined, hallelujah, and these two events, hallelujah, the ones that Isaiah, amen, is describing, and the one, amen, that Luke describes for us, amen, hallelujah, these two events reminds us that God, hear me on tonight, God does not enter our lives, brothers and sisters, based on our occupation, God does not enter our lives based on our educational standards and God does our educational status, nor does God enter your life and my life, amen, according to our position in life. Hear me, brothers and sisters, because this is of utmost importance to understand in this Christmas season that the God of the Bible, hear me, he meets us right where we are. He comes to us, hear me tonight. He comes to the plain and he comes to the ordinary, hear me. He comes to the rich and he comes to the famous, hear me. He comes to the Democrat and he comes, amen, to the Republican. Jesus comes to the gay man and he comes to the straight man, hallelujah. He comes to anyone, brothers and sisters, that has an open and an honest heart. And somebody need to shout amen right there, hallelujah. God ain't no respecter, amen, of person, amen, hallelujah. He's the gift that keeps on giving, hallelujah. Hear me tonight, hear me tonight, my brother. Listen, 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 listen to me tonight, my sister, because too many people believe Amen. Too many people believe, amen, they got to clean their lives up before coming to Jesus. Hallelujah. I want you to know, brothers and sisters, amen, hallelujah, that is so far from the truth. Some people believe, amen, that Jesus is looking for a polished resume, amen, from us, amen, before he can accept us. A resume with specific, amen, qualifications to make them worthy of salvation. How I many of you know that devil is a lie? I said that devil, amen, is a lie. Jesus saved sinners. Amen. Hallelujah. Hear me on tonight. Amen. He's the sin bearer. Hallelujah. He's the gift, brothers and sisters, that keeps on giving. He's not the God of a second chance. He's the God of another chance and another chance and another chance and another chance. I can go on and on and on. Hallelujah. Amen. Hear me. Jesus never gets tired of pursuing you, never gets tired of forgetting you. Amen. Never gets tired. Amen. Hear me tonight. He never gets tired. Amen. Of chasing after you. Hear me. Hear me. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Jesus meets us all, brothers and sisters. What are where are we at? He meets us at our point. At our point of being. Somebody shout glory tonight. Hallelujah. 
Somebody shout hallelujah. That's right. Jesus meets us all at our point of need. He loves us. Hear me. He loves us. Amen. With this love that's unconditional. He loves us just the way we are. But here's the thing I love about him. Amen. He loves us too much. Amen. To leave us that way. Now somebody, amen, needs to go run. Somebody needs to go run and tell that. Amen. Hallelujah. Go run and tell that. Hallelujah. Somebody needs to go tell it on the mountains, on the hills. Hallelujah. Go tell somebody. Hear me. That Jesus, who is the Christ, amen, hallelujah, he's born, hallelujah. Somebody needs to tell somebody, hallelujah, that unto us this day, that's what we're celebrating on the 25th, we're celebrating, amen, that unto us, amen, a Savior, Aha! that's good stuff, that a Savior, amen, was born. Listen to me on tonight, my brother, hear me, hear me tonight, amen, my sister, amen, that angel on that night hallelujah and luke amen chapter two amen beginning at verse number eight declared the good news of the gospel which brought joy to the hearts of the hearers hallelujah and that's what the gospel does brothers and sisters amen for now there is no more kind of damnation for them that walk amen according to the spirit amen and not after the flesh hear me on tonight brothers and sisters because amen the angel announced good news, good news of the birth of a savior. And that good news brought joy. It brought joy, amen, to the hearts of the listeners. Hallelujah. And once you and I, hallelujah, you and I, once we receive that revelation, brothers and sisters, it is our responsibility. It's your responsibility and it's my responsibility. Once we receive the revelation of what God has done for man uh, through the gift of his only amen begotten son once we receive that revelation it's time brothers and sisters for us to do something with it we cannot sit on that revelation hallelujah god holds us accountable for that once we get it brothers and sisters it's time amen hallelujah for us to get up share the good news hallelujah share the good news uh, that Jesus Christ is born. Hallelujah. Hear me. It's time for you and it's time for me, brothers and sisters, to stand up. Amen. And start to testify. It's time for us to witness. Amen. Of the gift. Amen. That God has given us. Amen. Hallelujah. To his only begotten son, Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. And it's time for us to encourage people to open the gift. Hallelujah. People that know, brothers and sisters, tell people that needs to know Jesus. So I want to ask you the question, when the last time you told somebody about Jesus? When the last time, amen, you, 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 you led somebody, amen, or have you ever led somebody to Christ? Brothers and sisters, your testimony is enough. That's all you need to know. You don't need to know, hear me, you don't need to know one scripture, amen, to lead somebody to Christ, amen. All you need to know is your testimony, amen, and all you have to do Amen. Hallelujah. Because the truth will be told. What he's done uh, 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 for others, he'll do for you. And what he's done for you, he'll do for others. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. So go tell it, brothers and sisters. Go tell it on the mountain. Go tell it on the hills and tell it everywhere. Amen. Hallelujah. Not only do we see the announcement of the birth of Jesus, we're going to look at the fulfillment of it. Look at it right here in verse number 11 through 15. For there is born to you this day. In the city of David, a Savior, who is Christ the Lord. And this will be a sign to you. You will find a babe wrapped in swaddling clothes, lying in a manger. And suddenly, the Bible says, there were with the angels a multitude of a heavenly host, praising God, saying, glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace, goodwill toward men. Verse 15 says, and it was when the angels had gone away from them into heaven that the shepherds said one to another, watch this, let us go to Bethlehem and see this thing that has come to pass, which the Lord has made known, amen, to us. Once they heard it, brothers and sisters, they said, amen, let us go to Bethlehem. Hallelujah. And see the fulfillment. That's why they wanted to go, brothers and sisters. They wanted to go to Bethlehem to see the fulfillment, amen, of this announcement. Hallelujah. Now hear me, because the children of Israel, amen, 
in the day in Jesus's day when Jesus was born hallelujah to the children of Israel the birth of Jesus it represented brothers and sisters a long awaited sign Jesus's birth represented to the children of Israel a long awaited sign of the messianic prophecy hallelujah it represented to them that that messianic prophecy had finally arrived in the city amen in the city of David now some expected some of the children of Israel, some of the people of Jesus' day, amen, they expected a savior that would deliver them from uh, the Roman oppression. You know, the, the Rome, Rome, Rome was, was the ruling, amen, hallelujah. Rome was the ruling of uh, uh, our nation, amen, in Jesus' day, hallelujah. And the children of Israel, amen, they were subservient, amen, to Rome, hallelujah. So they had been awaiting, amen, for this fulfillment amen, of this messianic prophecy, amen, that there was going to be born a king in the line of David, hallelujah, and this kingdom was going to endure, amen, forever, hallelujah. So there were people waiting, amen, for this sign, hoping and believing that once the sign showed up, it was going to deliver them from Roman, amen, oppression, hallelujah. But some, there were others, amen, hallelujah, that were waiting, amen, on the fulfillment of the messianic prophecy. That group of people, amen, they were waiting, amen, to be cured from physical illness, hallelujah. But both groups failed to understand, amen, that Jesus exceeded, hallelujah, their imagination. How many of you know, amen, that God is more than enough? So the Bible says that he's able to do exceedingly, hear me tonight, brothers and sisters, and abundantly, amen, above all, amen, that you and I can either thank or ask, hallelujah. Now listen, because when God supernaturally interrupts your life, hallelujah, and when God supernaturally, amen, interrupts, amen, my life, hallelujah, when he interrupts, amen, our life, amen, hallelujah, our first response, amen, our first response should be to fear him. Hallelujah. That's our first response to reverence. Amen. To reverence God that has manifested his life. Amen. Into your, uh, uh, that has manifested himself rather into your life and into my life. Hallelujah. For you and I, amen, we realize, amen, that his visitation, brothers and sisters, is nothing more than a glimpse of his plans for our life. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. When God visits us, amen, hallelujah, he visited us, amen, hallelujah, that we might enjoy his presence, hallelujah, hallelujah, and that we might, amen, more clearly understand his plan for our life. And this story shows you tonight, and the story shows me tonight, how God invites you and how God invites me to join him, brothers and sisters, to join him in his plan, hallelujah, and not the other way around. Hear me on tonight, because some people get this thing twisted, hallelujah. You cannot use God. You can't use God's power. Hear me on tonight. No, you cannot. God uses us. Paul, it's not the other way around, brothers and sisters. God is sovereign. Hear me on tonight. God calls you and God calls me to cooperate with him. Let me say this very clear, plainly tonight. If you want to make God laugh, tell him your plans. Uh, just tell God your plans. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. We don't use God. No, 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 no. We don't use God to help us. Hallelujah. Uh -uh. God uses us to carry out his plans in a man of the earth realm hallelujah god is god all by himself brothers and sisters hear me he's god all by himself with or without us hear me on tonight here's some truth on tonight amen you don't want to you don't want people amen feeding you twisted truths hallelujah no 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 god uses us brothers and sisters he invites us amen he invites us to work with him we don't invite God to work with us. Hallelujah. I love that. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Hear me on tonight. Amen. The story of the birth of Jesus. Hear me. It's one of hope. The story of the birth of Jesus is one of peace. The story of the birth of Jesus is one. Amen. Of joy. Hallelujah. Jesus came to give you and give me a new way of accessing God. That's what he came to do. He came to open the door. Hallelujah, that we might have free access, 
amen to God. Hallelujah. Verse number 16. Hallelujah. Thank God for teaching ministry. Amen. Verse, verse number 16. Verse 16 says this, brothers and sisters. So he came to Nazareth. Amen. Where, uh-oh, I lost my page. I'm sorry. The wind is blowing. Verse number 16 says this. Chapter number two. I was in the wrong chapter. Verse number 16 says this. And they came with haste, talking about the shepherds. And they came with haste, the Bible says. Amen. Once they received the message, they didn't sit on it. Hallelujah. They got up. Hallelujah. They moved out. The Bible says, and they came with haste. Now, parenthetically, let me say that. Because once you hear God, amen, once you hear God speaking through his vessel, amen, according to his word, amen, their only proper response is to move on it. Hallelujah. All through the Bible, you find that Abraham, God told him to uh, uh, go uh to go up to a hill that he was going to show him to take Isaac and offer him as a sacrifice. And the Bible says he rose early in the morning. You find that thing throughout scripture. Whenever God was directing, amen, whenever God was instructing people, you find that thing immediately or suddenly you find out the response was, and they rose early. Or oh, 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 you with me? And the Bible says, amen, verse number 16, they came with haste and found Mary and Joseph and the baby lying in a manger. Now, when they had seen him, they made widely known the saying which was told to them concerning the child. Once they saw Jesus, amen, they began to publish, amen, what the angel, amen, had told them. Hallelujah. How they were going to find a baby lying in a manger, wrapped in swaddling, amen, clothing. And the Bible says, and all those who heard it marveled. They marveled at those things which were told them by the shepherds. But Mary, the Bible says, kept all of these things and pondered them in her heart. Then the shepherds returned, glorifying and praising God for all the things that they had heard, all the things that they had seen, and all the things, brothers and sisters, that were told, amen, unto them. Notice their response. Hallelujah. Notice, amen, their response. The Bible says, and they, amen, they came with haste. God, I like that, amen, I like that, amen. Procrastination, brothers and sisters, is an enemy of the things of God. The Bible says, amen, they came, amen, with haste. And the Bible says that when these shepherds, when they saw the babe in the manger, watch what happened. The Bible says they rejoice. Man, when you get a revelation of who Jesus is, hallelujah. The natural response once you get a revelation of who Jesus is, amen, is to, watch this now, it's to rejoice. Hallelujah. That's good news, brothers and sisters. They remembered what the angel, amen, had said unto them, and they shared, amen, all that they had heard and seen. They shared all that they had heard and seen about this child. Hallelujah. I can just imagine how Joseph and I can just imagine how Mary, how they must have felt, amen, when they heard what the angels, amen, had revealed to the shepherds about their child. I can just imagine because remember all of the things, amen, that they had to go through. Amen. Mary was despised. Amen. Because uh, 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 before she was married, she was found with child. Amen. Joseph. Amen. Hallelujah. He uh, 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 try, uh, uh, remember when he found out that Mary was pregnant, the Bible says, amen. And he thought on how to privately, amen, put her away. Amen. Hallelujah. But the angels, amen, spoke to Joseph in a dream and told him that the child that Mary was carrying was a child of the Holy Ghost. Amen. Hallelujah. But they were the only two. Amen. Hallelujah. That knew that. Amen. So all of the ridicule and all of the shame. Amen. That came along. Amen. With carrying. Amen. Carrying Jesus. Now. Amen. Jesus has been born. And now. Amen. Watch this now. He's There's no room for him in the end. Amen. Hallelujah. Still being rejected. Amen. He's in a stable. Amen. Lying, lying in a manger. Hallelujah. And here come shepherds. 
shepherds come, amen, looking for Jesus, holly, by way of an angelic, amen, announcement. Can you imagine now how Mary and Joseph is feeling? Hallelujah. God then came to their aid. God then came. Isn't that just like God, amen, hallelujah. God will come to your aid, brothers and sisters, amen, because here comes shepherds, brothers and sisters, and these shepherds are announcing Amen. They're spreading the news. They're spreading the good news of the angelic announcement that this child, that Mary just delivered, ain't just a normal child. Amen. Hallelujah. That this child is the savior of the world. Hall imagine how Joseph, imagine, amen. Watch this now. Imagine, amen, how Mary is feeling. And imagine, amen, how you feel if God brags on you, amen, as his child. Hallelujah. I don't know about you. I get happy about that. I get happy about that. Amen. Rogers from across the canal, the Lord Nightmare is actually a child of the living. I get excited about that. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. It ain't where I come from. It's who I belong to. I'm shouting. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Can you imagine how Mary and Joseph felt? Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. To know, amen, that God himself Amen. Was making their name great, just like Abraham. God was making their name great, brothers and sisters. Amen. Hallelujah. For every child of God. Amen. Hallelujah. God's making your name great. Go tell it on the mountain. Go tell somebody. Hallelujah. Hear me on tonight. Because these verses, amen, they place emphasis for you and they place emphasis for me on the theme of faithful witnessing these shepherds amen they're being faithful they've received the word they've moved out on the revelation hallelujah and now they're sharing amen hallelujah they're sharing what god amen has shared amen on what god had shared amen with them hallelujah they've seen it they've heard it and now they're sharing and this is how you and i Hear me, brothers and sisters, those of us that sitting in Bible class tonight, those of us that will hear this, uh, uh, hear this teaching, amen, hallelujah, on Facebook or where it be on our, our, our webpage, hallelujah. And this is how you and I ought to respond. God is expecting you, hear me, and God is expecting me, hallelujah, to share the good news, hallelujah, amen, hallelujah, and no better time to do it than Christmas. No better time to do it than Christmas, amen, because Christmas is all about Christ, hallelujah, it's all, amen, about Christ, God, brothers and sisters, amen, he has given us, he's given us a platform, he has given unto you and he's given unto me, amen, hallelujah, a holiday, hallelujah, he's made it easy for us, brothers and sisters, we just got to stand up and go tell it, hallelujah, amen, we've been commissioned by God. Hear me, you and I have been commissioned by God to go tell the good news that Jesus Christ is wrong. Just think about it. Think about it for one minute, brothers and sisters. During the Christmas season, so many people get into debt, spending money that they don't have, buying things, brothers and sisters, that they don't need. Hear me on today. And with all of that, amen, with all of this commercialism, hallelujah, that has been attached, amen, to Christmas, with all of the partying. Hear me, brothers and sisters, amen, it's Christmas. People are partying, they're having a good time, amen, they're spending tons on alcohol, tons on drugs, amen, they have a good time. Not understanding, amen, that the purpose of Christmas, it's not about the partying. It's not about your Christmas party, hallelujah. It's not about, amen, running around, amen, in shopping centers, amen, watch this now that these big, amen, businesses can balance their books, amen, on your backs. It's not about that. Or oh, on my back. It's not about that. Amen. It's about celebrating a Savior. Amen. I'm so glad that I'm saved. Jesus Christ, at 61, if God don't do nothing else for me, hear me tonight. Amen. Hallelujah. I'm so glad to know that I'm saved, brothers and sisters. I'm so glad to know that I'm going to heaven. Amen. Hallelujah. I am as sure as going to heaven as I'm sitting here teaching tonight. Hallelujah. I'm so glad to know that, brothers and sisters, that when it's over down here, 
Amen. Hallelujah. It's going to be forever up there. Hallelujah. So go tell it, brothers and sisters. That's what God wants. That's what Jesus wants. That's what this message is about. Hallelujah. God is saying to you and God is saying to me, amen. Hallelujah. God is saying, go tell it. Amen. Go tell it. Hallelujah. God is saying, amen. I missed all the hustle and the bustle. Amen. Hallelujah. Don't forget the real reason for the season. Uh, hallelujah. Go tell it. Hallelujah. Christmas is more than a gift. Amen. Under the tree. God has given unto you. God has given unto me. God has given to the world, brothers and sisters, the greatest gift of them all. Jesus is the gift for all seasons. Somebody shout glory tonight. Come on, somebody shout hallelujah. Amen on tonight. Amen. Somebody put it in the chat. Open your gift. Hallelujah. Open the gift on the night. I'm, I'm really getting excited. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Share the gift. Uh, stir us up. Let's share the gift, brothers and sisters. Amen. We're in a dark world. Hallelujah. But those of us, amen, that are saved, we got the light. We got the truth. People are pe people, people are starving for truth, brothers and sisters. Hallelujah. They want truth so much, amen, that they're gravitating and running behind lies. Hallelujah. Amen. People, people are searching, amen, for truth, brothers and sisters. And we have it. And that truth is, amen, Jesus is the reason for the season. That truth is, amen, God became a man, amen, to save, amen, your soul and my soul. Hallelujah. The truth is, brothers and sisters, that Jesus Christ, hallelujah, he is the door. Hallelujah. Hear me on today, brothers and sisters. Hallelujah. Today is a great time to, save, to, to, uh, to share Jesus. Tomorrow, hallelujah, is a better time to serve Jesus, to, to share Jesus. And then Saturday, Saturday, a wonderful, a wonderful time, amen, to share the gift. It's the gift, brothers and sisters, that keeps on giving. He is wonderful, so go tell it. He's a counselor, so go tell it. He's the mighty God. Go tell it, amen. He's the everlasting Father. Go tell it. He's also the Prince of Peace. So go tell it. Somebody say, well, you want me to tell it, Pastor? Well, go tell it to your children and your grandchildren. They need to hear it. Hallelujah. Amen. Heaven would be a better place if your children and your grandchildren are in heaven. Amen. With you. So go tell it. Amen. It's your responsibility. Amen. To tell your children. It's your responsibility to tell your grandchildren because they need a man to hear it. It's your responsibility, my brother. It's your responsibility, my sister, to tell your niece and your nephew, amen, because they need a man to hear it. It's your responsibility to tell your in-laws and it's your responsibility to tell outlaws, amen, because they need a man to hear it. Just go tell it. Go tell it. Go tell it on the mountain. Hallelujah. Go go tell it. Go tell it to the drug addicts. Go tell it to the drug dealers. Go tell it to the alcoholics. Tell it. Amen. Every, every drug addict in your family, every alcoholic in your family, you ought to tell them if they want to be free, open the gift. Amen. Hallelujah. Because he's a deliverer. Hallelujah. Jesus Christ. Amen. Delivers. Hallelujah. Go tell it, brothers and sisters. Tell your boss. Tell your neighbor. Amen. Tell them all that Jesus the Christ is the Savior and he was born into the earth realm to keep them out of hell. Huh? Tell it to the cashiers. Tell it to the Uber driver. Amen. Tell it to the mailman, the fireman, and the policeman. Hallelujah. Tell it, brothers and sisters. Hallelujah. Tell it to your doctor. Tell it to your lawyer. Amen. Tell it to your children's teacher. Amen. Go tell it, brothers and sisters. Tell them that Jesus was born to save their souls. Hallelujah. You know, people might not know they have a soul to be saved. Amen. Huh? Hallelujah. Go tell it, brothers and sisters. Hallelujah. This Christmas, let's make it a point. Let's make it a point this Christmas to tell somebody. Amen. Hallelujah. The songwriter says it like this. Come. Come let us adore him. Kneel down before him. Worship and adore him. Come. 
<laughs> go tell him, Emmanuel. <laughs> go tell the world, brothers and sisters, Emmanuel. That's it, tell him, Emmanuel. Emmanuel. I'm just hearing that ringing in my spirit. Emmanuel. <laughs> Emmanuel, God with us. That's what that means. Emmanuel, we worship. Come on, let's worship him tonight. Hallelujah. Let's worship him tonight. Father, we worship you tonight. We give you glory and honor and praise on tonight. You alone are worthy, O oh Lord. Now, there's no other God besides you. Hallelujah. No other God besides you, Father, and we bless your name. We thank you, Father, for how you saved our souls. We thank you, God, for how you've made us whole. We thank you, Father, in Jesus' mighty name for how you just keep on, God, now. You keep on blessing us, God, every time we turn around, God. I want to thank you for divine protection, God. We don't take that for granted. We don't take that for granted that the reason we're not sick, the reason that we're well, is because of your divine protection. We want to thank you, oh God, now for the reason we haven't given up and thrown in the towel tonight is because you are our strength. Like no other, God, we want to thank you tonight that the reason we haven't lost our minds tonight, oh God, is because you are our peace. I want to thank you tonight in Jesus' mighty name, God, now, for how it is, oh God, now that we're not sleeping outside, oh God, there's food on our table because you are a provider. We bless your name tonight, oh God, in Jesus' mighty name, for all that you are, for all that you do. We worship you, God. Thank you for our Savior. Thank you, God. You became a man that died for us, God. Thank you, God, now for revealing that truth unto us tonight. Thank you, God, now that we hold these truths to be self-evident that we are saved, sanctified, sealed with the Holy Spirit, and we bless your name. So Father, today, oh Lord, in advance, we want to tell you happy birthday. Hallelujah. We're looking forward, God, to celebrating you throughout the rest of this year because you are worthy. And when the year is over, oh, God, now we're going to start out the next year, God, now celebrating you because you are our life, you are our hope, you are our help. We love you, sir. God, we honor you, God, and we, and we praise you, oh, God. Now, many of us are struggling, God, but we're serious. Hallelujah. We serious about the things of God. Hallelujah. And we bless you that heaven, oh God, now is a prepared place for prepared people. And you the God that prepares us for the place. We believe the fact that you go to prepare a place for us. And where you are, we might be also. So Father, tonight we give you glory, honor, and praise. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Amen. Somebody go tell it. Amen. Go tell it tonight. Amen. Somebody shout glory. Amen. Somebody shout amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I see you, woman of God. What a sweet, sweet name. Jesus. I see it. Amen. Hallelujah on tonight. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I bless God for each and every one of you tonight. Amen. Hallelujah. I don't know about you. But I learned we never go into the presence of a of a king. Amen. Hallelujah. Without a gift. It's offering time. Hallelujah. Amen. It is offering time. Amen. I'm going to ask you to text give. Amen. Hallelujah. 985-236-0421. Or, amen. Hallelujah. You can give on our toddler app. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. What I want to do, amen, tonight Amen. I want to pray over your offerings, if you will allow me to. Please, tonight, just close your eyes, bow your head right where you are. Father, in Jesus' name, we want to thank you for this time of, of giving, oh God. We realize, oh God, now that giving is a part of our worship, and we thank you for that revelation. How it is that you give seed to source. God, you give bread for food, but then you multiply the seeds that sown. 
so father we just bless your holy name i pray that you give us back money something money cannot buy it's in jesus name i pray amen amen and amen listen to those of you amen listen we will not have we will not have church school on saturday but put the word out amen put the word out on this christmas morning we'll be right back here on facebook live this christmas morning amen at 10 30 a.m hallelujah pastor's gonna write that down for himself so pastor don't forget amen at 10 30 a.m amen we're gonna come back amen to facebook live amen listen hallelujah we're gonna lift him up we're gonna celebrate him amen as a corporate body we're gonna celebrate him collectively amen watch this now from the comforts of our own homes amen hallelujah 10.30 a.m., hallelujah, 10.30 to 11, hallelujah. We're going to give God 30 minutes, amen, of glory. We're going to give him 30 minutes of honor. We're going to give him 30 minutes, amen, of praise, amen, on Christmas morning, amen. So I am looking forward, amen. Get your children, get your grandchildren, amen, hallelujah. In fact, why don't you just wait to unwrap your gifts, amen, at 11, Holly, let's unwrap, amen, the gift together, amen. Or if you do unwrap them, amen, I know many people are going to be up till 12 o'clock. I remember when I was a kid, amen, 1 o'clock, 12.30, amen, I was sneaking under the tree. Even if you got kids, amen, just like your pastor was, amen, hallelujah, that can't wait, amen. Listen, at 10.30, make them put the toys down, toys are going to be there, amen, and let's celebrate the Lord. Hallelujah. Let's celebrate the Lord together corporately. Amen. Christmas morning at 1030. And then we'll be right back on Sunday morning in person. Hallelujah. We'll be in person worship. Amen. On Sunday morning at 10 a.m. Hallelujah. At 10 a.m. I sought God for wisdom. Amen. Hallelujah. And I believe that God was saying since we're going to be right back Sunday morning. Amen. Just do Saturday from at home. Hallelujah. Would you agree with me with that? Somebody, amen, hallelujah. Somebody put amen in the chat. Hallelujah, if you agree with that. Amen. I'm going to see you, amen, each and every one of you, amen, on uh, this Saturday. Amen. Hallelujah. 10.30 a.m. Hallelujah. 10.30 a.m. right here on Facebook Live. Well, I trust and believe, amen, that we were all blessed, that we were all blessed tonight, amen, in this teaching. Amen. Go tell it. Hallelujah. You can pick up the phone tonight. Amen. Go tell somebody. Amen. That Jesus Christ. Amen. Hallelujah. Was born to save their souls. Plant the seed. Amen. Whether they received it or not. One planted, one water. God gives the increase. Hallelujah. God bless you tonight. Amen. God keep you tonight. Know that pastor love you and that I am praying. Amen. I am praying that you're walking. Amen. With expectation of favorable change. Hallelujah. God bless you tonight. God keep you tonight is certainly my prayer. Looking forward to seeing you. Amen. Hallelujah. Christmas morning, 1030 a.m. Hallelujah. God bless you. Enjoy the rest of your night. Bye now.